Good day, everybody. Sergeant Crypto here, Crypto Team 6. So last week we saw the failure of BitConnect. Um, BitConnect, if you don't know, is a lending platform that uh, issued their own coin. They had their own private exchange. Um, basically, what you would do is you would buy their coin using Bitcoin, and then you would lend that coin back uh, to them so that their trading bot could trade the volatility of Bitcoin and then they would pay you back um, they would pay you a percentage every day based on the volatility okay so these lending coins are these lending platforms are quite popular I'm going to tell you today how to avoid being a victim of these platforms and I'll give you the reality of what really happens with these platforms um, let's start off with this lending platforms the lure of them is that you can make consistent profits daily the problem is they have the signature of Ponzi schemes Now I'm not going to call them Ponzi schemes directly because people will be just throwing darts and arrows oh this is not a Ponzi scheme it's not a Ponzi scheme well you know if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck it's probably a duck so if it looks like a Ponzi scheme, it probably is a Ponzi scheme. But I'll let you be the judge. You might look at a duck and see a dog, for all I know. That doesn't matter. The point of this is to understand two things. The first thing we're going to understand is what really happens when you join these lending platforms. Basically, you are asked to take your perfectly good Bitcoin, which has a store of value. That value has been proven over time. Um, some would say that's a Ponzi scheme too, but that's a whole other story. Bitcoin is known as a store of value. Typically, it goes up and down with the markets. Um, it does have some legitimacy in the United States because regulators now allow it to change uh, to to trade on as a commodity at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. So anyways, uh, now our financial institutions can trade on that. So it has a bit of legitimacy. Um, it also has value. It trades on exchanges all around the world. Every exchange that is open has the ability to trade Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has market breadth. Whereas BitConnect um, and these other lending programs, they do not. All right, so let's, let's just see what these lending programs look like. This was BitConnect. It went down last week. Another similar coin is called Devor coin. And gee, look, their price of their coin is $98 at the time of this. Here's another one called Hextra coin. Hextra coin, wow, they had a big market spike here. Wonder how that happened. Boy, they must have a lot of people moving into this one. There's another one called Falcon coin. Falcon coin is an investment program with lending. Here's a brand new one. This one's got a lot of people excited. They're all into this ICO. You buy them for 50 cents. They go up to 10, 20, 30 bucks. You loan your coins. And you two get some, you, you, you get uh, profits from that one. Another one called Eigencoin. Another one called Homeblock. Another one called Markcoin. This one's got some spinning program. So you take your daily profits, you spin, and you make, I don't know, even a higher percentage based on some gambling scheme that they have. Here's another one called Lend Connect. Same thing. Lend your coins. We'll give you, um, we'll give you a rate of return every day. Here's another one called Ucoin Cash. So this is what we have. We've got all these coins. Now, here's what they ask you to do. They ask you to send your Bitcoin. You send your Bitcoin. You buy their coin. And basically, <coughs> they're not breaking the law by selling you a coin. Because a coin in and of itself is not a security. It's just an item. It's kind of like a painting. It's kind of like a car. You know, if you and the seller come to an agreement, a meeting of the minds on the price, and you buy that coin, that coin is legitimately yours. Where these lending programs are having trouble in regulated countries like the United States is the minute that they say um, that we, you can loan it to us, you loan us your coins, and 
will lend will give you a rate of return they're turning it into a security they're actually securing they're taking your cash and they're securing it and they're guaranteeing you a return and that violates a lot of laws in the United States just about every state has laws regarding securities if you want to start a corporation and you want to sell shares you're limited to the number of investors you have depending on which state you're in I mean LLC's limited liability companies and that kind of thing you can get a series of a handful of partners together and get around that but when you start mass um, doing a mass offering like these these coin companies are doing you you violate the laws and so BitConnect one of their exit excuses was that they were being scrutinized by a couple of states in the United States namely Texas and North Carolina they got cease and desist orders and if BitConnect got these cease and desist orders I can tell you that DeVore, Hextra, Falcon, Thorncoin, Eigencoin, Homeblock, Markcoin, LendConnect, Ucoin, and all the rest of them will be getting these cease and desist letters. And if they don't cease and desist, then the attorneys generals of those states have the right to start looking for the owners and prosecuting because you're making that offering in their state. <clears throat> if somebody comes in, signs up, puts down that they live in Texas or they live in North Carolina and you knowingly sell them a security after you've been told to cease and desist, you are violating the law. I believe that the rest of the United States is going to regulate this as well. You'll probably see the United States Attorney General or the SEC or somebody step forward after Congress creates a rule or a law that says you cannot they don't even have to create a, a law the securities law is already in place and they're violating it blatantly alright so that's that's how these companies are going to get shut down in the United States and these companies are going to exit the other side of this though is he, here's what's really happening you pay you give your perfectly good Bitcoin you buy their token you lend it and then they turn around and they give you fiat back most of them meaning this you get you don't get Bitcoin back you paid for it with Bitcoin but they give you back US dollars and then they force you to buy their coin which is manipulated on their market most of them being closed and then you can convert it to Bitcoin well what BitConnect did was they when they closed their doors they just arbitrarily took a price their price was steadily declining it got down to about 200 bucks it went from 400 to 200 or 350 to 200 or something like that and then they arbitrarily assigned it a price gave you your coins back converted the loans back to those coins told you to take them put them in your wallet and go to the exchange and you're on your own a lot of people said, oh, no, they're going to find utility value. Well, these lending programs, once they lose their lending platform, their lending, their loans, there's nothing else to do with them. You can't go to the store with them. You can't buy anything with them. They have no market acceptance anywhere except as speculation. And once the utility value is gone, speculators drive them to zero. So let's assume for a minute you're involved in Davor, you're involved in Hextra, you're involved in Falcon, you've been taking your profits from one and going to the next and to the next and to the next and everybody thinks that they're going to make money ad nauseum. Well the reality is BitConnect, they exited. All of the rest of these are getting their cease and desist orders. They too are going to have to exit. BitConnect basically laid out a roadmap for exiting they basically said we're closing up we're giving you the value of your coins back here's your coins we're out of here and they exited and they believe through this process that they have violated no law you'll see people that are representing BitConnect you'll see the Craig Grants the Trayvon James all these other people saying hold on to these hold on to these never give up your crypto they didn't steal your money they gave you back your coins well if their coins are worthless they stole your money it's just that simple there's no other way to look at it 
So what they've done is they've created a roadmap for how to exit. I assume that one day, Devor coin, they're going to say, here's your coins, we're gone. Hextra coin, although they don't have an external wallet, they're probably going to create an external wallet. They'll get on some unknown exchange, and there you go, you're on your own. Falcon coin, same thing. Thorn coin, they're raising money right now. There's no, nothing that even says that they'll even open their exchange. They haven't even done that. There are countless exchanges that have done these ICOs, and they never even opened up. Eigencoin, same thing. Here's a lending round. Download your wallet. Well, I'm going to tell you this. If you're on DevorCoin and they have a wallet, here's what happened to the people on BitConnect. The people on BitConnect, they had no idea this, this thing was going to close. The entire time, though, BitConnect had a wallet. When they closed, they converted everybody's coins and said, come and get them, you've got five days. Well, this site was so jammed, you couldn't even get to it. They were saying it was denial of service, but I believe that so many people were trying to just get in and get their coins, they couldn't get out. So if you're in Devor, they have a wallet. If you've got any Devor coin on, on there, get them off their site, even though they're on a couple of exchanges get them off their site so when they do close and they convert you can at least go to an exchange and sell before the crowd gets there same thing with Hextra although they don't have a wallet they're not even on an exchange so once they convert your coins here's your coins site goes down you'll never see them again Falcon coin same thing I don't know if they have a wallet thorn coin we don't even know if they're gonna open Eigencoin, they got a wallet. If you've got coins on there, download them. Get them into your possession so at least if they go down, you can try to salvage your losses. Homeblock, I don't know. I heard that they had some problems. I'm not a member of Homeblock. I'm not a member of entities, so I don't know. Markcoin, people are going to say, oh, you're just spreading FUD. You're just spreading FUD. You don't know what you're talking about. Lencoin. Yukon coin. Here's the thing. If you're trading with an exchange, it's like trading. Let's assume that the United States didn't have any regulation for stocks and you could buy and sell Apple or Google or whatever, but the only place you could buy it from was Apple or Google, whatever. When you get closed exchanges like that, there's a lot of room for manipulation. So these prices that we're seeing, Dev, you know, how do we know $98 is, is the true value? And then once they close, you'll know that it's not the true value. You're not getting your Bitcoin back. You're going to get DAV back. You may or may not be able to exchange back into, into Bitcoin. But it would seem to me if a lending program was true to its word, you would get in, you'd buy their coin, you'd lend them, and they'd pay you back in Bitcoin. Why make them go back through DAV? And it's simple, because the more DAV you buy, the less supply there is, and the higher it goes, until the bottom falls out. Once the bottom falls out, we saw uh, BitConnect. It went as high as 400 bucks. Look at it now. It's 18. There are, thou there are millions of coins out there. People are holding them. They're saying they're gonna, BitConnect X is going to come back. It's not coming back. None of these. Devor, Hextra. Falcon, Thorncoin, Eigencoin, Homeblock, Markcoin, Lencoin, Ucoin. If you're in all of these programs, here's what you need to do. Download a wallet. Get the coins in your possession. Find out what exchanges they're on, if they're on any. Sign up for those exchanges and continue to connect, collect your profit. The longer they, you're able to collect, the more you're able to draw out and draw out your money as fast as you can because these are going to go down. You can mark my words. Today is January 21st, 2018. The chances of any of these being open after this BitConnect failure at the end of this year, I'm going to say, are 1%. That means 1% chance that any of them are going to survive 2018. Mark my words. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I feel sorry for all of you. It's a sinking ship here. We're on not one Titanic, but a fleet of them. And many of you 
have taken your money and gone from one platform to the next platform to the next platform. You have these feel-good um, feelings. Oh, I'm making money. But until you actually can convert it to your own fiat, you have nothing. My name is Sergeant Crypto. I wanted to bring this to you. I want you to really think about this regardless of whether you agree with me or not at least have an exit plan a plan of your own what will you do if the site goes down how will you recover the only way to protect yourself is a to physically have the coins in your possession and b have a way to liquidate them when the ship starts leaking when the ship starts leaking you better be liquidating because by the time it's halfway down, it's done. You're done. You're done. Those I, I, I saw people on BitConnect with million dollar worth of loans. They turned over all the Bit, BitConnect coins to the owners. The owners are saying, hold on for dear life. They got a million dollars worth of loans that were converted to Bit, uh, BitConnect coins. And now those values at, at at 18 bucks you're lucky to get 20 grand but 30 grand 40 grand i would say take your money and run run <laughs> liquidate it at 18 if you're still going to hold you're going to hold it all the way down to 10 satoshi and nobody wants to do that i'm sergeant crypto here with crypto team 6 i hate to be the bearer of bad news but trayvon james Craig Grant, all of them, they c took their coins, they converted, they milked this thing for all it was worth, and they're off on their own. They're not destitute. It's all these little no-name people right here in this picture who are holding the bag. Don't be a bag holder. I'm Sergeant Crypto here, Crypto Team 6, out.